It is Wednesday, my dudes. Got to say that one out loud because uh, everyone in the house thought today was Tuesday. I woke up earlier and I, I kind of panicked because, you know, my, my wife was going to be late for work. But turns out she doesn't work today. It's not Tuesday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Thank you all for tuning in. We're going on to day three of our Clown Samurai playthrough. The Clowner Eye. I'm ready. I'm ready. So uh, last night we got the um, the Dragon Bone or the Serpent Bone, rather the, the the Serpent Bone Katana, which has been great. That's the Serpent Bone Blade, but it is a katana, and. It, dude, this, this katana is incredibly good. I can't believe more people do not talk about this katana. A lot of people are really stuck on, you know, like Moonvale, Rivers of Blood. A lot of people use the Uchi katana, of course. Uh, they'll use, you know, Hand of Melania and even uh, the Nagakiba. But I don't see anyone talking about the Serpent Bone Blade. This thing is absolutely incredible. The moveset is so good. Not to mention the poison damage it does just really strikes well. I'm very happy that I chose to use this one. Now, uh, today, my goal is to get the other katana that I want to use for this playthrough, the Dragon Scale Blade. That is over in the Lake of Rots. So we're going to be working our way over there today. We do have to defeat Radon, so that way we can continue on with Ronnie's quest to get there. So our goal today is defeat Radon, get the Dragon Scale Blade, and then there's two talismans that I want to get to support these katanas. The first one is Kindred of Rot Exaltation which will allow us to do additional damage when we poison an enemy. And then uh, the other one is the Lightning Scorpion Charm, which I believe is at the, the catacombs in between Altus Plateau and Mount Gelmir. I think it's like the Wyndham Catacombs or something like that. It's the one with the, uh, the Boat Necromancer in front of it, I believe. It's not something that you get from defeating the boss of that dungeon, but it's in a locked room behind uh, a Stone Sword Key Lock. So that's our goal for today. That's what we're doing. Let's get started. Yes. Very good. Am I going to be using another shield? Nope. The only shield I'll be using is uh, this one. This one here. Oh, the fire breath. There you go. There you go. Anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in. Who do I see in chat? Sound off. Who do I see? We got Cole, Kevin, Matt, Richard, Patrick, Aaron, Lineth. Josh, Abalala, Aaron, Bloomy, Abdul Rahman, Jeff, Ibarge, Lauren, Talita, Lil Monster, Shashwat, Degree, Cosmic Kitty, Len, May, Randy, Ravon. Is it Ravon or Revan? I, I hear people pronounce like pronounce it both ways, but is it like based on Darth Ravon or Darth Revan? Whatever. Which, which, whichever whichever it is. I, I say it both ways interchangeably. Either way, thanks for joining me. What's up, Cerberus? El Profeta. Pizzah and Fancy Pants. Amorphous Bob. Liam Evans. Spellbound. That's wife. Black Neko. Alexandro. Alexandro, rather. Vlad. Winter. Dadang and Aaron and Juka and Julio. Visceral. What's going on, everybody? How are we doing? Let's go grab our map. There's a couple things here that I want to take care of before we do go take on Radon. So we're going to do that. We're going to take care of that business. The number three. What's up, Richard? Just found out how outrageous spinning weapon is. Spinning weapon is insane damage, man. Yes. Spinning weapon can do some pretty big damage. Very much so. Indeed. Pronounce my name perfectly. Doesn't happen often. Well, thanks for joining us, Talita. Thank you for joining us. And yeah, if I ever pronounce anyone's name improperly, do not be afraid to correct me or say, hey, you said my name wrong. And I, you know, I, I believe that a basic form of respect for everyone is just making sure your name is pronounced properly. So if I do pronounce it improperly, it's not intentional. It's not something that I'm trying to like slight you or anything. But I'm glad that I got it right for you, Talita. Thanks for joining me. How you doing, May? What's up, Matt? What's up, Franklin? Zionist? Pain don't hurts. Welcome back, dudes. Sayanda, hello. What's going on, guys? Cole, hope you and Brittany are doing great. 
Is Waboku considered a katana? Are you talking about the Wakazashi? It's considered a dagger. I actually have it. It is considered a dagger in this game. Some games will consider it like a smaller katana. Other games like this one consider it a dagger. In this one, it's a dagger. I was considering using it to put on parry because it has like a very special moveset to it, which allows you to have the dual wielding katana moveset. Because it's definitely used in like the offhand alongside katanas. So it makes sense, but yeah. All right, from here, I want to go do this ever jail. Hold on, let me, let me clear all these out. I wish there was a way to just clear all, all markers with a single button press. We're going to go do this. And then we're going to do this. We already killed this tree here, so don't have to worry about that. Uh, we don't really need to worry about this so much. So I think we're going to do that, and then we're going to go fight Radon after those. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Got my name perfectly? Good to hear it, Abalala. Thank you for joining us. Good to hear it. We're doing good. One of our dogs is sick, but I'm doing my best to take care of the messes. Oh, hopefully the pupper feels better soon. What's up, Mr. Nate? What's up, Greybeard? Andrew, welcome back. Good to see you today. Hello. Hello, gamers. How are you liking the controller? Dude, the controller's fantastic. I was playing Monster Hunter with it last night. It's a good time. Dragon. My mind is still like going default holding the controller claw though. I got to stop that. Sick dog is sad dog. Yeah, it's, it's always unfortunate when puppers get sick. Puppers and family members. How much mana do you have, man? My man went bonk crazy. He went bonk mad. You said how I say it, Ravon? Right there, dude. Well, controller, uh, I got a new controller in yesterday. It's um, an Xbox Elite 2. It's really good. I'm enjoying it. Shark, what's going on, man? I think he forgot <laughs> to use the hammer. Yeah, he, he, he forgot to use the hammer, man. <laughs> All right, let's go do this dungeon here. We have to go down. Oh, you know what we could do right here as well? We can go fight, uh, what's his face? The Commander O'Neill. That's always a fun fight. Let's go fight Commander O'Neill, and then we'll do the dungeon just to the north there. Which Monster Hunter you played? Uh, playing Monster Hunter World right now. I'm mostly playing it in preparation for Wild Hearts because I'm really excited about that game. And I, I'm weird and I felt like legitimately depressed that I haven't played more Monster Hunter in general because, you know, they're right up my alley. They're right up my alley fighting giant monsters, you know? But I just didn't really play them a whole lot, so I'm rectifying that. Hey, RT. Hey, Corey. How's it going, guys? All right, let's get our friend out here. This is going to be Millicent. Let's see if we can make her run into the Scarlet Rock geyser here. What have you got to say? Let me see it, if only one last time. Your splendid blade dancing amongst the Scarlet Rot. Oh. Oh, she skipped it. That sucks. Oh, oh 
God. Everything's fine. Hey, you're poisoned. Are you okay? Okay. She did. It's weird that she drops like several different golden runes as well. Golden rune three, five, and ten. Was that what, was that what just happened there? That's awkward. A weird spread. Spellbound. Thank you for 14 months of membership. It's weird to think that I've had membership options for 14 months now. Weird. Thank you. We are liking Machek. Yes, if you have enough to like on the stream, you make sure you do. We are over 100 likes already, which is always impressive. A lot of folks already here. Make sure you hit the like button, dudes. Thanks for hanging out with me. What's up, Biggie? You have 200 hours in Iceborne? Nice, man. Xbox or PlayStation? Playing it on my Xbox, because that's what I have in the bedroom at the moment. All right, let's apply the poison to him real quick. Let the poison do its thing while we take out all of his friends. Lauren Strange, thank you for the two months of membership. Only been sub for two months, but you're an amazing streamer, dude. Hey, thanks, Lauren. Thank you for joining us. Even for even for this short amount of time, like that's incredibly kind. Thank you for sticking with me. You discovered my channel and you've been here with us since you did. And that's what that's that's what I love. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for two months. Paul, thank you for three months of membership as well. Thank you for all your streams, my dude. Yo, thank you for being here for him, man. Thanks for hanging out with me, Paul. I appreciate the continued support. Three months now. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you for all the re-members. Re-upping of the memberships. out of here it's kind of crazy how many of these attacks you can actually parry he just tried to kick me it's messed up man oh All right, let's top off our health these axes, axes can actually do devastating damage gone. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to roll up the tree, but that's what we got. Here, have this. Oh, nice dodge, fella. Damn. This guy's a gamer. Look at him. Hey, yeah, he tried to kick me with his, uh, his non-foot. most certainly did try to kick me with his non-foot, didn't he? This game is graphically beautiful. True. Die. 
Now, realistically, a katana would not do well up against that heavy knight armor at all. Like that, that is not realistic whatsoever, but still a fun fight with the katana anyway. Still a good time. I remember finding your streams back before my spinal fusion it been a welcome addition to both Brittany and my days. It was actually Brittany who told me about you. She knew you back from Twitch. That's awesome. That's awesome. Been with us a long time then. We like it. We like it. But this is the serpent bone. That's true. What's up, Ruddle? How you doing, man? What up, fellow, fellow clowns? Yes. All right, let's go do this dungeon up here. Anime told me katanas are the strongest weapons ever, so how is this a challenge? It's not a challenge. No one ever claimed it was a challenge. Literally day one of the playthrough, it's just just because something is specific to a weapon type doesn't mean it's a challenge. Lukito, what's up, man? The moveset of the katana is actually insane. Yeah, it's really good. There's definitely uh, lots of reasons why people use katanas on mass in this game. They definitely feel like they got the most love out of all the movesets in the game. Favorite katana so far? Serpent Bone. Serpent Bone, and it's not even close. Half a day of work, now we chilling? Love to hear it, man. Hey, Scarecrow. How's it going? Ah, oh, come here. There you go. Let's finish that off real quick. Can't let him get away. All right, I'm not looking to fight anything else in this room. There's really no sense. Ludwig, they were three months of membership and the congrats on the 25k. Streamer got good. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it, Ludwig. Thank you, dude. Thank you for three months of membership. What is this item? I never remember. Oh, it's a somber four. Actually useful. Actually useful. I rolled somewhat early, but it's okay. All right, the pest is going to drop down here. Okay. It's kind of weird that pests can't climb ladders, considering all those arms and legs they have. Like, they just can't compute how to use a ladder. You'd realistically think they can get up the ladder pretty effortlessly, but nope. Passed on my left. We roll that. We roll that. Let's fight the falling star beast with the poison bone blade. Or serpent bone, rather. Hey, Screamer. Not feeling too hot. If it's COVID again, I'm going to be pissed. I'll be pissed for you, man. I'll be pissed for you. Hope you're doing all right. Welcome back. If I can poison these guys, but I don't think so. Oh, we can. We're actually dominating this guy. Uh oh. I got out. Nice.
Clouderai. <laughs> Just dominated that thing. What the hell? My God. Hitless Falling Star Beast. We take those. We take those. This katana is insane. It's actually insane. So I guess we go fight Redonald now. Redaniel? What do you guys like more? Redonald or Redaniel? I think I like Redaniel more. Redaniel. What will you do on the 100th playthrough? Um, quit everything. Pack it in. Call it a day. If I'm still playing this game for a 100th playthrough, I'm going to seek help. Redaddy. <laughs> hey, Just Sounds. How's it going? Can you get weapons by cutting off the boss tails in this game like you can in Dark Souls? Unfortunately not. That was something that I, uh, I discovered in my first playthrough. I was actually targeting tails like crazy in this game. And I never got a single weapon. And it's something that was confirmed by many other players as well that it's just not possible. Made me really sad. Like, imagine, like knocking off tails or even other limbs of different things you know a good example is uh giza's wheel you actually get from an uh, inquisitor giza but it is actually the same it's the same thing that you find on the uh the abductor virgin's arms imagine if you go up to an abductor virgin and chop off its arm and you get the weapon right even if they only allow that to happen once per playthrough, that would be so sick, man. Instead of having that invasion. I just think that would be so, so, so much better. You could still have Inquisitor Giza. Just have it reward you with, you know, runes. Instead of the actual weapon. I think that'd be so much more interesting. Hey, Alan. Ooh. Any Halo fans? What's up, Eddie? That's General Redaniel to you. General Redaniel. All right, let me finish off this level if I have the runes to do so. Yeah, we good. I would happily chop off and come in swinging with Redan's wiener. All right, Screamer's not feeling too well. So, someone get Screamer some Tylenol, a cool cloth, and a lot of water. <laughs> I must admit, bud, you must have heard by its stars. Could one see Zaldazo now? The way ahead is... Into the... Into the... Into the... Fun fact about this person right here. It's actually Celavis controlling this person, believe it or not. Celavis. You can find this exact NPC in Celavis's dungeon, as well as a, uh, he's got a doll for it. I never, ever do the quest. I've only done it once ever, but yeah. Fun fact. Champions! Huh? Indeed, I Champions! <sighs> but be sure to get... be sure nice, I... just sounds. Are you good to the festival? Before we begin, allow me to paint you the full picture. All right, do you guys think we'll be able to do this first try? The last time I did this with the daggers, I think it took us a couple tries. General Radan is cursed ever to wander. Eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. Only some of the most fun damage, why'd they make it suck? It's about perspective to the story, right? Now he gathers the corpses of former friends. A lot of things in this light. game are considered oh, holy. Like but what one thing considers holy is actually something that is considered dark for someone else. 
right? Because there's a lot of different faith-based things in this game. The sky. You have the Golden Order. You have the, uh, the Crucible stuff. We must You've got the Dragon stuff. Oh, all that. It's all considered holy, depending on which, which perspective you have. But all the same, it's all of faith. And so it just depends on perspective. And you have to remember that a lot of the things that you fight in this game are gods and demigods. Which, obviously, if they're gods and demigods, they're going to have a natural resistance to a lot of that stuff. Doesn't mean that it can't be fun to use and that it can't be good in certain instances, but... Yeah, that's why. I mean, yeah, even the Black Flame is considered a form of holy. Yeah. Do I know Radbrad? I know of Radbrad. I do not know them personally. In fact, one of the one of the things that uh, a couple people have said to me is that I'm like a live streaming version of Radbrad, and honestly, I could not ask for a better compliment to be said to me. Like that, that's an incredible thing to have said. I'll never forget that. Hey, Enoch. Am, am I good? I don't know. Are you good? I'm not good. Cancel everything. I'm not good. Cancel everything. Hello, Redaniel. That's some pretty good damage, folks. Pretty good damage right there. Oh, I'm stuck. Unfortunate. Radon's easy, man. So, Screamer, about that uh, Radaniel Schlong dung that you said you were going to use as a weapon, uh, I don't think it exists anymore. I just cut it up into like 20 pieces. only went to the bathroom and I come back and he's dead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's up, electrically eclectic? Hello. Can you do a level one run with your dodging skills? Maybe the next character can be level one. Uh, I'm certain that I could. I just don't think that I would enjoy it much. A lot of the way that a lot of the way I play video games is to maximize my fun, and I just don't think that I would find that very entertaining personally. Just that extreme limitation. Like I know I could do it because I know the game very well, but I just don't think I would enjoy it. Path is not to knock. Let's meet where we'll take up our Let's we'll go into my only purple curtain draw. 200 likes Let's in less than 30 minutes? Yeah, dude, that's kind of nuts. Draw. Guys, guys, that's insane. You guys want to try something extra today? Let's try to hit three. Uh, let's try to hit 350 likes by five o'clock, which is in half an hour. 
We're 142 likes. Um, yeah, we're 142 likes away from 350. If you haven't hit the like button yet, let's 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 try for a higher goal today. We usually don't go that far. Let's try it. Hit the like button. Let's see where it goes. Let's see where it takes us. Hey Tills. Hey Liam. Need a beating Renala yesterday? Yeah, Renala got the the poison blade as well, the serpent bone blade. It's going well, Invis. How are you? What's up, Allah? I'm doing well. How are you? How's it going, guys? Just gonna top off this level before we hop into this next dungeon. We got 50 dexterity already as well. Damn. Alright, we're gonna ride up to this dungeon up here and take out the uh the the tree spirits. Yeah, uh, the way that faith works, and there's so many different types of actual holy in this game, you have like the dragon that's considered holy you have the golden order that's considered holy the black flame you have uh the crucible stuff and so that's why a lot of things are naturally resistant to it because a lot of these things have actually been at war with one another or they just are they all have gods and demigods amongst their orders and so they're just all very much so holy in and of themselves in this in this game's universe so that's why a lot of things are very like generally pretty resistant to it and why it doesn't do as well as a lot of people would hope but canonically it makes sense it really does make sense canonically and that's also why the black flame a lot of people when they want to do faith-based damage they'll go with black flame because it's something that actually does raw physical damage over time the actual damage over time is considered physical instead of fire or holy so it's something that it, that's why the black flame had to be uh held back in power because it was actually too powerful and the rune of death part of its functionality is to bind it to weaken it the rune of death itself is considered a, a bit of holy which is why it requires a little bit of faith to wield the black knife as well as Mal malachite's black blade a little bit of lore run on through here okay matt thank you for the two dollar super chest let's pop over to discord and join up yes if you haven't joined up on discord guys make sure you do we had a whole lot of people join up on discord yesterday which is awesome if you haven't joined up on discord yet do it it's a great place to keep in contact with everyone from our amazing community it'd be great to have you there too Hey, Terry with the $2 Super Chat as well. Great stuff as always, Josh. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you, dude. You and Matt, thank you both for the two. I appreciate it, guys. What's up, Pebble Bebble? get poisoned it is putrid so i don't really know i guess we'll find out uh, okay i barely got out of that that's good ah a little early there unfortunate
I don't think we can poison this guy. Which does make sense. He is putrid after all. I mean, it's fine. I get it. For sure. We can poison it. Holy shit. Wow. I was not expecting that. All right. Very cool. Saw you're installing a new God of War screamer. Too bad you can't play it like some of the other people, though, huh? knock this guy down yet. There it is. Poison the new bleed? No, bleed is still overall better. Yeah, I'm excited for the new God of War as well, man. I will be playing it live on stream, by the way, guys. November 9th, hardest difficulty, God of War Ragnarok. I shall be your guide through God of War Ragnarok on the hardest difficulty. Oh, yes. man yeah it has an insanely high poison resist yeah it was either going to be a very high poison resist or complete immunity based on it being putrid turns out it's not immune though I actually find that thing more difficult than Radon these days okay from here um we can go here and fight this guy. Let's do that. that ought to, that's going to be a hard fight. This thing is the hardest thing to fight in all of Kaelid. Die clones, thank you for the $5 super chat. So when is the casual sweat playthrough with two rivers of bloods, five moon veils, six frost stomps, seven mimic tears, and level 750 for the first time versus Margit? Uh, Tomorrow. Yeah, let's do that tomorrow. Sound good? <laughs> Die clones, thank you for the fiver, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ow. Nice, Dustin. Nice. Just went to the wiki. It's not even immune to Scarlet Rot. That's weird. That's very strange. I find it very strange when something does poison or scarlet rot or even ice like the frost dragon in the mountaintops is not immune to frost. Isn't that strange? It's got a pretty fair resistance to it, but you would think that it being, you know, frost element that it would be immune to it. Just like how a fire dragon like a Geel should be immune to fire. Like, if a, if a weapon is imbued with fire, maybe it can actually still do the physical damage, but the fire damage just negate it completely. Like, I, that's that's how most RPGs would be. It's very odd to me that this game is not like that. And then, you know, I, uh, Elden Beast has a very high resistance to holy, but it's not immune. 
But you'd think that it would be immune to holy altogether, too. Which is very odd. What's up, Ruger? What's up, Justin? From Australia? Are you asking if I'm from Australia? No. I'm from the U.S. Grew up in New York. Oh, let's not fall! Okay, that was almost really bad. Be gone. Poisoned him on his way down, too. It's kind of messed up. Hey, Prime. Yeah, Visceral, but even then, a lot of RPGs I've played, uh, it just generally speaking, especially if they're more hardcore like this, if they if a dragon uses a certain element, generally it's extremely resistant, like 95 plus percent resistant or uh, immune. So it's very shocking to me that it isn't this way in this one. It does encourage a wider spread of variety of elemental damage that players can do, of course, but yeah. Yeah, just I, I figured as much. I, I it was just there was a question mark at the end of it, so I was like, wait. <laughs> oh, let's actually go up and activate Radon's rune. I never do this. Let's do it. Hey JM, how you doing? Yeah, we're gonna defeat the hardest godskin apostle. This is gonna take a few tries, I think. Hey, Thomas. So we're going to defeat this guy, and then we're going to work on doing Ronnie's quest, so that way we can get to the Lake of Rots. Because that's where we get the Dragon Scale Blade. And that's our next blade to use. I'm going to dual wield this alongside Dragon Scale Blade, and it's going to be fun. We're going to use Poison, Lightning, and Frost. Karaoke time? Just about, yeah. <laughs> Let me just do some quick vocal scales to warm up, yeah. It is time to sing. You excited for Ragnarok? I sure am. I'll be playing it live on stream on the hardest difficulty, day one. I'll have no knowledge of the game aside from it being a God of War game. Looking forward to it. What does Radon's Great Rune even do? I can't remember. Shadow of Rose, all you had hoped it would be. Um, I thought it was pretty good. In fact, um, as far as Resident Evil goes, Shadow of Rose has the single scariest moment between seven and eights altogether. So I'd say it did pretty damn well. The first time those mannequins are following you around, man, that was horrifying. That was the single scariest moment that I think I've personally ever experienced in, in, in Resident Evil altogether, the entire franchise. And that, that, that was terrifying. Max HP, FP, and stamina. Yeah, not worth it then. Do you agree strength build should be considered as nerd thing in Souls-like games? Uh, I mean, strength is probably the most straightforward and probably the most used just because it's... I would say strength builds are the most user-friendly build of the game because uh, specifically, not only does it allow you to do big damage with a lot of different weapons based on strength, of course, but also gives you good physical resistance so you can build like a natural tankiness that way. If you build that alongside a little bit of uh, vigor as an HP, then you can become quite the tank with minimal effort. So I would say in that regard, it's good. But as far as like nerd thing, I, I don't... Now, 
I don't really think there's any build like that in this. Aside from, like, if you're just trying to, like... I don't know. Like, it, if people know how to build, then you can get very strong builds with using minimal strengths. Minimal strength stats specifically still, and be fine. Because you can use poise to, you know, up your quote-unquote tankiness in that regard, too. I'm doing well. How are you, Putin? Zoro, Clown Arai. Clown Samurai. Yeah, uh, Eclectic. The, I have a short. If you want to take take a look at the short, can one of the mods link the short that I put out from the from that from that stream that day specifically? It, it'll it'll take you like thirty seconds to watch it, but man, terrifying. You're okay. Good, good to hear you're okay. Wow, that's got some range. No! My god, dude. My god. I went down just to go up. Yeah, it's just this uh, little bit of like a maze area. Remember the, uh, trying to find my way down this the first time? It was uh, very interesting. It took me like, I don't know, a couple hours to get down to the bottom. Just kind of doing a lot of experimenting, jumping on different things, all that. And now I just know it by heart, obviously. Kerza with seven months of tier two membership. Welcome back, man. Hope you're doing well. Love your channel, Josh. Always been a big fan of your Elden Ring streams. I'm glad you enjoy what I do, man. Thanks for joining me, man. Thank you for seven months of it. Welcome back. Welcome back, sir. Where do you get that flame monk sword? I think you can farm it from him, right? Pretty sure you can just kill them on repeat and get it from them eventually. I think. Same with their mace. Alright, wish me luck, guys. It is time for the hardest godskin apostle in the entire game. Let's do it. Now 
I got that poison on him again too? Hell yeah. What's up, Nimrod? How you doing, dude? Oh! Jesus! some help. Insides became my outsides. That can't be good. Oh, he's poisoned. The poison's gonna finish him. All right, Gigi. That's a good tune right there. That's a good tune. That's a good tune. Hey, was that first try? Dude, I think that's the first time I've ever taken this guy out first try, by the way. This katana is nuts. This katana is actually insane. That poison's legit. Yeah, it does, it does half the damage, I believe, of regular poison, but this is called... Uh, deadly poison specifically because it uh, it ticks I think a third of the total but for double the damage so it, it equals about 50% of the regular poison damage I believe but it's just uh, faster application of it which did you like more seven or eights you know that's really hard now after after playing the DLC of eight I need to play the DLC of seven and then I can give it like a fair judge I don't know I think they're both really great though highly highly enjoyable games which makes me really happy because after resident evil uh six and raccoon city i was very upset with resident evil that those games are just terrible and i'm so happy that they rectified it with these games it's very nice to see all right i don't think there's anything else here in kaylid that i would like to do i think we're pretty good to go up north let's go to altus plateau or, i'm sorry not altus plateau we need to go get the dragon scale blade let's go here when God of War, that's on the ninth. Encore, encore. It's because I was singing extra good. True. True, man. Like the stream? Yes, guys. We just hit 300 likes. Guys, do me a favor. I want to see if we can hit 350 likes in the first hour of stream today. If you haven't hit the like button yet, make sure you do. We are only 40 away. We just hit 310 likes. 40 likes away. Let's see if we can hit 350 for the first time ever before the first hour of stream is up. We got five minutes. We have five minutes. Hit that like button, dudes. We're so close. We're so close. Came by to leave a like. Thanks, Daz. Thanks, man. This is the most amount of likes I think we've ever had on a single stream this uh, this early on. There it is, 350. Oh my god. All right, guys. Not to seem greedy, but let's see if we can top it, top our regular 300 by 100 total. Let's see if we can get 400. Then you guys just made 350 look easy. That's insane. 
right, just kidding. Take your likes back. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just lost like 110,000 runes right there, by the way. Let's go get those back. Oh my god. Okay, guys, listen. We're 19 away from 400. Just 19. Just 19 away from 400. And three minutes away from five o'clock. We're so close. I know it seems greedy. I'm sorry. But thank you for leaving likes on the stream. I appreciate that level of support. It's a great way to support what I do. Let's get our runes back, shall we? Let's get our runes back. Oh, good. They're right there. It's not a bad spot at all. Oh, my God, guys. There it is. 411 likes at 456. Not even an hour into the stream yet. Over 411 likes. That's incredible. You love to see it. That. That is nuts. Chat do be crazy indeed. Guys, thank you for <laughs> thank you for all the likes on the stream. Thank you for supporting what I do. I know, I know it's a free thing, and it, it's just that type of stuff really does help push my content further to more folks. So I appreciate you doing it, guys. Thank you. That's a lot of likes in a short amount of time. Thank you guys. Hey Joe. Hey Colin. Let's hop it off, guys. If you are a member, let's see the cult emotes for the, for, you know, for everyone, for the non-cult. Just to kind of celebrate. That's the most amount of likes I think any of my streams have ever gotten in that short of amount of time. Thank you, guys. What's up, Hoop? And one Hoop is back. Welcome. Yeah, it does help me get on the recommended page for more people, yeah. Didn't want to swing again and get tossed off the ledge. Look at those emotes. My God. My God, I love it. Shark, they give you the six euros. That's a lot of bots. Beep boop. I know, man. We're botting again, aren't we? <laughs> Shark, thank you, man. I should get a bot emote. Just a turtle shaped like a robot. You know? Thank you for the six euro shark. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Beep boop. Am I going to get the dragon scale blade? Yes, I'm on my way to it right now. Oh my God, it's crazy. Oh my God. Oh, what the, what the combo? Ow. Here, backstab. My God. These guys just... These guys almost killed me. That would have been embarrassing. Hey. Am I going to do my first run through of God of War Ragnarok live? Yes, Varen. I'll be doing it live on stream on the hardest difficulty. Yes. Okay, guys, we're one minute away from five. We're at 432 likes. That's, that's incredible. Almost 450 likes in the first hour. Nuts. Nuts, dude. That's what we call big. That's amazing. Oh, Runark, right. Yes, Runark. True. Good call. I'm not used to using those. If I die and I forget to use a Runark, guys, don't be afraid to yell at me about it. Streamer! Streamer, use a Runark! I usually don't use them, but on this playthrough, we are. I'm doing well, Ryan. How are you, man? Speaking of Runark. 
If you are on the Discord yet, yeah, pop on by and join the Juice Crew. Yes, exclamation mark Discord will give you a link. Hop on in there. Great place to join our community, guys. All right, it is time for the Clowneri versus the Clowneri. Let's do it. Hey, bud, you're a little poisoned. You good? Oh, he just tried to parry me. Oh, you want to play that game? Come here. All right, can't parry a jump attack. Come here. Jerk. Let's go. Come on. Hey, you're poisoned again. You good? Nah. Uh, let's see how low the poison gets him. Let's see if it kills him off. I don't think it will. I think it'll be close. Oh, it did get him. Okay. All right. Yeah, he's looking a little green. Favorite Souls game? If we're including Bloodborne in that, Bloodborne. If we're talking just Dark Souls, Dark Souls 3. Okay, uh, I think 40, 40 Vigor is pretty good. With our Rune Arc, we have 1,450 health, so that's pretty solid. Let's go ahead and just bump our Dexterity. Wait, hold on. Strength is 12. That's enough for the Dragon Scale Blade already, isn't it? I believe it's uh, 12 dexterity and like 18 or 20. Or I'm sorry, 12 strength and 18 or 20 dexterity, I think. So we should be good there already. What's up, Lawrence? How's it going? What does the rune arc do? Never used one? So rune arcs allow you to activate your great runes. Uh, every demigod that you kill in the game has a great rune you can activate at a uh, divine tower. And how did that somber five just pop into my inventory? That was strange. And when you uh, use a rune arc, it activates it. And in this case, I have Godric's great rune. Sorry, my cat's all over me. Um, Godric's great rune will give you five levels and every stats. And I believe there's eight stats total. So it gives you a, a total of 40 free levels, essentially, by activating the rune arc. Is actually really strong. Most people that I've seen actively use rune arcs will say that Godric's is the best all around to use for a standard playthrough. Which, out of all the uh, things I've seen for a standard playthrough, I do agree. Bloodborne's your favorite too? Favorite boss in Bloodborne? Yours, Ludwig? I think I'm right there with you on Ludwig, man. Ludwig is a great boss. Really, really enjoy that fight. And I like Ludwig's Holy Blade and the Moonlight Greatsword, of course. So it just kind of all goes full circle between all those items and him. On the Mimic boss, when you take off all the equipment to make more easy, because I don't play the game to make it more easy. That's not how I do things. I would rather fight against whatever equipment I have and learn to improve against it than just make it easy for the sake of making it easy. I'm the type of player where I like to get better at things. I don't like the cheese. I like to get better. Which, you know, there's no fault if that's the way you like to do it. You know, I, I will not blame you. I just choose to try to get better. I feel like it makes better content, but also makes me a much better player overall.
I just realized as well, I got to get on the other side of the gargoyles. Shit. Not sure how the gargoyles are going to go with the katana, but we'll, we'll do our best. We shall do our best. All right, that should be enough to open that up. Yeah. Let's go fight this thing. The Clown Samurai versus Ancestral Spirit. Gerald, what's up, man? Such a busy day. Nice to take a break and watch some katana action. Thanks for joining me, dude. Did you guys see Atomic Heart got an official release date of February 21st, by the way? It will be on Game Pass Day 1 as well. February is a very busy month. Insanely busy. A lot of good games coming out in February, man. We got Dead Island 2, Hogwarts Legacy, Wild Hearts, Atomic Hearts. Uh, there's a Kirby game coming out. Uh, there's another game coming out too. Uh, Sons of the Forest, which is a new survival game. There's a lot of games coming out in February, man. It's nuts. And then early on in March, we have Wo Long Fallen Dynasty. How exciting. I think it's best to fight this guy without a lock on. just landed so much damage. Resident Evil DLC, Resident Evil 4 Remake rather, in March as well, yes. didn't heal there. It'd be dead right now if it didn't heal. Stop it! Oh my god. Do not heal right now, I swear. Don't do it! Oh! Okay, that, that was... No, no! Ha! We gotcha. <laughs> that, that almost sucked. We got him. All right. That almost sucked. That boss has a good OST as well. Katana's been breaking poise like a champ. Let's hope they do the same for those twin nightmares. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Not very confident against the gargoyles. I never am. Elden Ring's DLC. Uh, we do not know when Elden Ring DLC is coming out. So we do not know. Also, uh, EA has been teasing that there's some major IP from them releasing before the end of March as well. They better not put it in February. Do not put it in February, please. Release it. God, I don't, I don't know when I want them to release it. It's just the first three months of the beginning of the year are going to be so damn busy. It's, it's a good, good thing. Don't get me wrong, but I just wish there was a better spread. Will I be using Melania's Katana? No. No. Using uh, Serpent Bone Blade and Dragon Scale Katana when I get to it. <gasps> I 
I looked at chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's uh, there's nothing hinting that Elden Ring DLC will be out in the first quarter of next year. Doesn't mean it won't be, but there's been no reveal as any of that yet. What's up, Mel? This is when we start, right? Yes. We just started stream. Yes, hi. <laughs> How's it going? Will I use Rivers of Blood? No. Love Dragon's Tail Katana so much fun. I'm looking forward to use that, using it. It's the, this and the, uh, the Serpent Bone Blade and the Dragon Scale Blade are the only two katanas that I've ever really wanted to use. So I'm very excited about it. Oh, it does have a stab attack. It's the running R2. Okay. There is a pierce. What boss would you say is your least favorite boss to fight? Uh, you know, I have a, uh, a tier list video for all the bosses in the game, but right now I'm dreading the twin gargoyles. That's one of my least favorites in the game. I just always found them to be a pain in the ass. Like, it's satisfying to do well in the fight, but it's not often that I do actually well in that fight. Was that launch my boss? Just found out the company Christmas parties at Tioga Downs this year. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, God. Tioga Downs. It's a casino. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. That's an interesting place to hold a holiday party. <laughs> How is the ball not moved yet not worried about larval tears we're just gonna go hey dina watching lots of your video help me find out i didn't even know about right on quiet t-rex right on man Let's run on through here. Nothing here of any value. Just gonna go grab the finger slaying blade. That's a giant. God, he screamed. Don't yell at me. You're not my dad. And we're leaving. Okay, let's hit this site of grace. Then we're going to go fight a crucible knight or two and then the gargoyles. Let's do it. Dark, I know. I, I like to make dark jokes at my own behest. <laughs> 
All right, go right on this way. Grab the old fang for some reason. Can you actually use the Finger Slayer Blade? Never understood how it works? No, it's just for a quest. You have to find it for Ronnie. Basically, it's recovering evidence of her being behind the Knight of Na. The Knight of, uh, what is it called? The Knight of Knives? The Knight of Death or something like that? I can't remember. The Knight of Blades? Something? Basically, if you didn't know, she's the one that orchestrated the, uh, the night that a lot of gods and demigods were assassinated. That was her doing. Knight of Black Knives, yes. She used it to slay the two fingers. What's up, Wintervale? How you doing? Oh, what a nice guy. He dropped me his shield. What a nice guy. Huh? What a nice guy, yeah? Right, let's take out some uh, some little Heidi boys. Then we'll take on the other crucial knight here. These guys don't have a whole lot of health, man. What's up, Kuda? As someone who can't parry a crucible are a nightmare for you. I spend a lot of time practicing parrying, specifically crucible knights. Uh, there's the crucible knight ever jail at the beginning of the game in Limgrave. I um, I spend for a good week. I would spend an, about an hour after stream every night, just practicing parrying it. I wouldn't even attack it. I would just practice parrying. And so I find crucible knights to be some of the easiest parries in the whole game for me specifically because of that but also i just find like their move sets are extremely readable Glad you're doing well, Kuda. I'm doing well too, man. Ah, I messed that up. I was a little far away for the parry. One of the biggest things that a lot of people have difficulty on with parrying and was actually a big limiting factor for me for the longest time as well is actually knowing the range in which you can parry something comfortably. Oh, I should have turned around first. Oh!
My God. Oh, I'm dead. I wasn't expecting to do the, the horn attack so many times in a short window. So this is one of the few things with Crucible Knights that catches me off guard. The ones with the horns. You have uh, this one. You have the one in Landell that has the horn attack as well. And then you have, um, what is her name? Saluvia. I can't remember the actual name where she has the one that's on her hand. And then you have the one with the duo Crucible Knights as well. Those are the other only attacks that I struggle with and actually like avoiding. And that's because I didn't practice them at that ever jail. <laughs> Saluria, yes, Saluria. Saluria. You ever try to do a run with the starting boss weapons? Uh, starting boss weapons quiet? I'm not sure quite what that means. Yeah, the shoulder horn incantation is very good as well. In my incantations only playthrough, I used it quite a bit. It's very good. You can get it very early on in the game. You can get it at Stormvale Castle from the Crucible Knight there, if I remember right. Which is very odd because it doesn't actually use it. poisoned okay that was that was a little yikes at the end there but it's fine we got past it we're good Got the iron spear from him. Nice. Nice. All right, we can't parry these gargoyles, so let's do our best and try to take them out with this. Pretty sure you can't poison them either, so this fight's going to suck. Wish me luck, gamers. Wish me luck. Very bad at dodging, apparently. What? How the hell did that hit me? Here we 
go. Cancels his own attack. Nice. not agree with that hitting me at all. Yeah, it's fine if I get poisoned. I'd rather just finish that guy off. Do you have summons? I don't use summons. This is going to be tight. GG. Clonidae. Never doubt the serpent bone. True, man. True. I do disagree with a couple of the hits that happen, specifically with the uh, the sword gargoyle, the um, the line attack that it does. I just didn't agree with those hitting me. I dodged them at the usual time that I do, and I still got hit by them. Maybe they changed the hitbox on it. I don't know. I do not know. What's up, Knight? No Rune Arc as well? Oh, shoot. I forgot Rune Arc. I forgot the Rune Arc. All right, let's go fight this tree, and then we're going to go back to Ronnie. 
so that way we can carry on to the Lake of Rot. Okay, that's done. I've done a twin blade build. I have, yeah. That was part of my all achievements playthrough. Uh, when I was, playing, I was playing on Xbox, I actually did like a, a Donatello cosplay. And the closest thing to a bow staff in this game are the twin blades. So I used twin blades for that playthrough. And I actually hated it. I do not like twin blades at all. Right, let's go back to uh, Ronnie. Hey, Chris, how's it going? I got an important question. Has everyone here joined the Discord? Hmm. Folks, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, Mel brings up a good point. Have you joined the Discord yet? It's a great place to keep in contact with everyone from our community. Stay up to date on everything going on, not to mention just being able to chat with everyone, you know? It's cool. Join up on the Discord. Let's go fight this tree. Yeah. <laughs> 500 likes. Yeah. 500 likes by 530. That's nuts, guys. Ah, it was not that is insane. Thank you for all the likes on the stream today. Soon. And if you haven't been able to tell based on those likes, guys, look how many people are here right now. You guys play a role in helping other people discover my streams and my channel in general. Ah, my stream, That's I exactly so why I ask for it. It was but That's crazy, right? What I too. Hey, you guys for joining us. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I play a lot of single player games on stream and off stream. I make videos, all that stuff. It'll be great to have you, have you guys here for more of it in the future. Hey, Hydra, how you doing, man? <laughs> What's up, 25k, Josh? <laughs> how you doing, Hydra? You view Discord like Obi-Wan viewed Mos Eisley? Like a, a hive of scum and villainry? Not my channel, man. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, damn it. This thing still exists. This is a weird bug. Electrically eclectic. Uh, what we do here... What we do here is we're forging a community of people that enjoy video gaming and video game related things. We use the Discord channel to continue that when I'm not streaming, when, I'm, when we're not here on YouTube. If you find it non-productive online, like online content, then that's fine for you, but that's not universal for most people. A lot of people can just casually enjoy things on the internet and not feel addicted to it like apparently you do. Don't be weird about it. Let people enjoy things. I know that might be hard, but letting people enjoy things is perfectly okay. Especially when it's not hurting anyone else. 
Weird. Hey, Kai. Hey, Anna. At 50k, we can call him 50 Cent. I'd rather you didn't. I'd rather you didn't. Yeah, that's not what happens in my Discord channel, James. If you're joining up on Discords where people are attacking each other and stuff, then you're just in the wrong places, man. That's all. That's not what happens in my channel whatsoever. What happens in my Discord is very much so like chat here. You have to remember that uh, a lot of channels are a reflection of the people that run them. And so you can be certain that if I'm running something, then you're going to have a similar experience to what you have in my streams. It's that straightforward. Oh, or is it merely thy habit to talk to dolls? Fine. Fitty Juice? Fine. I hadn't expected. But now the before <laughs> eliminate the name of I will Before eliminate the name of I will Before eliminate the name of I will Why did the Joker looking character compel me to sub? Clown Samurai. I'm very much so looking forward to getting the white reed set later on in the game, too. I like that one a little bit more. What's up, Cozenair? You seem to be a really good person. Wish you the best. Hey, thanks, man. I'm glad you think so. I definitely, uh, I feel like I can be a bit of a jerk sometimes, like I just was, because, you know, I, de I definitely will call people out on stupid shit based on their weird, twisted view of the world. But, yeah. That's about the worst of me, you'll see. <laughs> you just do what I say and no one gets hurt. <laughs> But yeah, join up on the Discord, guys. Trust me when I say, like, whatever your uh, thoughts are of other Discord channels and stuff, I trust, uh, I, I, I want you to trust me in, when I say, like, that's not how I run my channel. What you see here in my channel right now is how our Discord channel is, too. Nothing changes just because it's on a different platform. It's still run by me and our mods, so you have nothing to worry about. And if there's anyone that's caught being a jerk in the Discord, they get banned without any warning. That's something that we've done many times already. I'm not afraid to do. Trust me when I say that uh, what I like to do with my community is being very level-headed. Defending the community and your characters being a jerk and then be a jerk all day, my man. Hey, thanks, Anne Rose. <laughs> oh, I poisoned the ants. Guys, can you feel it? Can you feel it? I can feel it in the air. We're almost at the dragon scale blade. We're almost there. Projectivity is somewhat, somehow a bit stupid. Every hobby could have a bad influ influence on you depending on the amount of time it takes y y it takes from you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I always find it weird when people project their problems on others. It's always strange. You can feel a calling in the air tonight? Wait. Wait a minute. When I pick up the katana, will we hear the drum solo? Do 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 do. I can feel it. Calling in the air tonight. 
Oh no. And I've been waiting for this katana for all of my life. Oh no. Do you remember? <laughs> How far is the new sword? It's not very far at all. We're almost at the Lake of Rot right now. We're almost there. You're good electrically. You're good, man. We can still be friends. Let me turn on the night light here. It's a little scary in this elevator. Shark, they give us six euros. Josh is a very good cult leader. It takes care of us. <laughs> good care of us when we hand over our earthly possessions. He will take us to the promised land. But when you say it like that, I certainly sound evil. <laughs> Shark, thank you for the six euros, dude. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, we gotta defeat the Dragonkin soldier to get the sword, the katana. Oh Shadow, thou art the last. Tell the two fingers that Rani the Witch cometh. Drend thy flesh with a fateful wound. Nah, it only took five hits to get you poisoned? Damn. Damn, bro. So I got a little greedy there because I wanted to like get that one last hit in to finish him off, but this is farewell. It's all right, it worked out. Tell Bly and EG. I love them. Borik Wadamas. What's up, man? It says good luck today. Glad I caught the stream and prayers for continued success. Right on, man. Hey, Borik Wadamas, thanks, bud. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Making me want to play this game now after watching you play some of it. Hey, dude, that's cool. That's cool. Well, should you choose to play it, I hope you have a good time with it. Want to know the lore reason why he has destined death fire on his blade? Um, because he was actually sent by Malekith. So what happened was, uh, Ronnie. Ronnie is the... Uh, not the ringleader of the Black Knives, because that is, um, uh, what's her name? Electo, I believe. Or is it? Uh, either way, um, she's basically the one that orchestrated the whole plan. And with the Knight of the Black Knives involved, she had to take a chunk of Malekith's Black Blade, uh, the Rune of Death itself, to imbue the Black Knives with it in order to assassinate the gods and demigods. And so he is a follower of the Rune of Death and was sent to kill Ronnie because they figured out that Ronnie is the one behind it all. And that's why she was in hiding. She, she even went as far as faking her own death to try to get them off her tail. What's up, Omi Gun? How you doing? No flame cleanse me? Nah, not really much need.
Man, this Scarlet Rod is like barely draining. My resistance to it is basically non-existent. Let's hopefully not get killed by this guy. I feel like the Scarlet Rod's gonna kill me though. I don't have any things for it, do I? I do not. Oh, wish me luck. What's up, Toast? Welcome back. Don't you dare. All right, you know what? I think the poison's gonna kill you, so I'm just gonna go grab this. Okay, we got that. Let's fast travel back here so we don't die. Very good, very good. Guys, thank you for 550 likes on the stream. I appreciate it. Thank you for all the likes today. Yeah, Peter, that's exactly what I just did. I rolled in it so it would drain health slower. I wonder how many people actually learned that from me at this point. I don't care about it this time. I'm just running straight for the Sight of Grace over here. How you doing, Shaolin? Oh yeah, Locust, you can definitely solo the entire game, man. In fact, I would say that it's worth attempting to do. It's fun to play co-op for sure, but if you enjoy playing alone enough, you can definitely get through this game without worrying about having other people join you and stuff. Um, you can still like summon things for bosses and stuff and still have it considered solo too. So if you like to summon things, you still have that option too. I'm doing well, shall we? doing Ronnie's quest line or something else here. I'm doing Ronnie's quest line as well as I'm grabbing the dragon scale blade, which is here too. We got to defeat the dragonkin soldier to get it, which we're going to do in just a hot second. Just getting everything set up. We're gonna get that lightning katana, the dragon scale blade. I'm very excited about this. I've always wanted to use these two katanas and now I get to use them side by side. It's gonna be sick. Okay, so there's the Dragonkin Soldier right there. We got to press the button to raise the platforms. Then I'm going to heal up the Scarlet Rot and then we'll fight it. That's a great question, Visceral. I'll let you know when I get there. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Let's do this. I 
Let's get it on. Hey man, you're looking a little poisoned there. You good? You good? Looking a little sickly. You know what's funny is he can take a big old map in the Scarlet Rock, but he can't handle a little bit of poison off the end of the sword. Got the zoomies. My man's out here zooming. Ow. <gasps> no, I thought I was out of range of that. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I'm sad. I'm very sad. What's up, Thrash? How you doing? Uh, I'm gonna get Scarlet Rotted. Shit. Well, here we go. Let's just... I got greedy for the poison. <laughs> I always forget about uh, the, the actual range of the, uh, when he pulls his hand out of the ground, it actually has insane, insane range to it. I always forget that, man. I always forget. Don't be sad you like when I die. Oh, oh, all right. All right, man. Hey, where where you go? That's a great question. I'll let you know when I figure out the answer. sick though. He's a little sick. God, the zoomies. Um, bro, I swear to God. I'm going to get Scarlet Rotted. He, said, he actually splashed me with the Scarlet Rot. The bastard. This bastard. Are you poisoned? How are you not poisoned? Goodbye. <gasps> Son of a... He's a... He actually has one HP. Are you seeing that? Are you... He actually lived. 
He did not die there. Okay, bro. This guy. Huh? This guy. Yeah, goodbye indeed. My man. My guy. The one HP king. It's starting to become personal. <laughs> yes. I have to agree. Got the zoomies, and I just got splashed in the scarlet rod again. Aha! You bitch. Wait. I don't want to die, man. Oh, I'm, I'm so dead. I lived. Dragon scale katana right now. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks. What a jerk. Rawlin. What's up, dude? It has been a while. How have you been? Where are you? Where have you been? What's what's going on? What's life? I need to travel to the round table hold to level this up, actually. Yeah, we had to work for that katana, guys. We had to work for this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right, let's go level this thing up. I think we'll be able to get it to plus six. I don't have a somber seven yet, but once I get a somber seven, we can get it to plus nine. Now we're gonna put the dragon scale blade in the main hand because it does more overall damage and that'll leave the serpent bone specifically for being poison damage i do like the move set on the serpent bone more though so by the time i get them maxed out i might switch it back up to the other side even if it does less damage overall, I think the move set on the Serpent Bone is a lot better. Having a double slash on your heavy attack is just like that. That's incredibly good.
Okay. Let's go beat up Astol, shall we? Let's go get Astol. Before we do that, I'm going to take a really fast break, guys, okay? I'll leave you with this image right here. If you haven't already left a like on the stream, make sure you do so. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. And make sure you join up on the Discord channel as well. It's a great place to keep in touch with everyone from our community, stay up to date on everything going on on my channel and all that stuff whenever we're not live. Uh, I will be right back. Don't go anywhere, dudes. All right, we're back, dudes. We are back. Let's get to it. May, they give the $5 super chat. Quick, while he isn't looking. Quick, throw money at the streamer when he's not looking. May, thank you. Thank you for the fiver. I appreciate it. Thank you. I washed my hands? No, I dipped them right in the toilet and then rubbed my face. That's what's up? Hell yeah, brother. Man, that hurts. Don't do that. You know what else, guys? Uh, I just remembered as well. I don't have any secondary thing on my uh, my flask. I just realized. Yeah, and these katanas still have incredibly good poise damage as well. So we got that going on for us, too. Incredibly good. How are you not? Hello? This 
is going to be a bad fight. This is going to be bad. Yep. I usually am able to identify that attack sooner, but I also didn't realize that I brought it down to half health that quickly. I wasn't paying attention to the health bar. How much damage was I doing? I, I did a lot more damage there than I was expecting. Holy shit. Didn't realize I got it that low. Rawlin. What's up, Lore? Rollin, thank you for the $20 super chat. 25k subs on YouTube. It's great seeing so much success and growth. Much love to you, Josh. Yo, Rollin, thank you, man. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you for uh, moving over here with me from Twitch. I mean, that that's... I got my start here going because people would actually come over with me from Twitch to YouTube, so... I appreciate it, dude. I really do. I hope life isn't treating you well. It's good to see you here right now. I know it's been a bit. Thank you for the $20 super chat, dude. Incredibly kind. He looked frostbitten? Yeah, he got frostbitten by my dragon scale katana. And for those of you that are not aware, the dragon scale katana does lightning damage with its, um, with its ash of war but it also makes the blade have frostbite. As you can see, it's called Ice Lightning Sword. It's um, one of a few weapons that have this capability in the game. It's something specifically that the Dragonkin soldiers are capable of doing, or well, used to be capable of doing. I missed your super chat. Did I really, Matt? I'm sorry about that. Thank you for the $2 super chat. I'm seeing that here. Are you still thinking about doing a 25 Q&A vid? Uh, I'm thinking about, yeah, um, I was thinking about maybe doing it for, with like a camera or something, but at the same time, like, I don't want to have to set all that up again, so I don't know. It's such, it's just such a pain in the ass to get working. So I don't quite know how I want to do it yet. I don't know. Thank you for the $2 super chat, man. I'm sorry I missed it the first time. That's my mistake. I did not intend to miss it. Thank you for that. <laughs> this is going to be a bad fight. Proceeds to get tail whipped out of frame. Exactly. How did I lose aggro? Okay, that's never happened before. Again, guys. <laughs> I'm messing that up so bad. I've never had so much trouble with this fight before. I've never had this much trouble with this fight before. I just keep messing up. I've been around much. Hey, hope you've been all right, though, man. What have you been up to? What have you been up to, dude? Mel says I did it on purpose. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what we can do, guys? Um, I actually got early access to a game called Soulstone Survivors, which if you know what Vampire Survivors is, it's very similar gameplay to that, but with, you know, its own uniqueness to it. Maybe when I play that on stream, 
uh we can do like a live q a stream with that we can play for a few hours and you guys can just kind of get to know me better we can do like a live q a session while playing that game how does that sound are you guys down for that i actually think that's a good idea We can do it live on stream. So we'll do that right after this playthrough. Um, I can actually start playing it on the fourth which I think we're going to be finishing this game up on the 4th, so I'll plan that for the 5th. Yeah, um, if, if not the 5th, then the 6th. And I'll let everyone know in the community tab as well as Discord when it's happening. So that way no one misses it, okay? We'll play Soulstone Survivors while... I got another Pest Glaive, what the shit? Uh, we'll do Soulstone Survivors while doing a live Q&A. And then a few days later, we'll play God of War. Use Daz's setup. He doesn't have a camera hooked up either. <laughs> yeah, his camera's not hooked up either. Neither of us use cameras anymore. <laughs> Scarlet Rot is draining me so damn quickly. I gotta do the roll trick, man. I keep forgetting. Shit. Do, 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 do. Feels bad. Um, yeah, I don't have the crafting capability right now, so I don't think I can make any things. We'll try one more time. If we die, then we'll just skip it. The biggest thing that's keeping me down right now is the Scarlet Rot, but I got nothing to get rid of it right now. And so it just kind of puts me in panic mode. I have no flame cleanse me, guys. You know me by now. How often do I actually stop to grab Flame Cleanse Me? <laughs> I never do. Never ever. We're going to do this the better way, though. This will help us. Arcaton is broken. Is it just fun or trying to set a challenge? No, there's nothing about this that's meant to be a challenge at all. Shit. Well, this sucks. Maybe 
the fifth time is the charm, huh? If you yell at them, they stop. That's what I was hoping for. I was hoping those pests wouldn't run up on me. Okay, we're doing this one more time, guys. I guess I'll kill the pests this time. Does that katana need intelligence to do more damage with the Ash of War? Um, no. It's just strength and dexterity. I'm not looking for the actual Ash of War to do damage much, though. I'm just using it for the Frostbite. If I hit the lightning part of it, too, for extra damage, that's nice. But if not, it's not the end of the world because the Frostbite is the major part of it. Oh, God damn it. And then we got one more over here. McDanning, what's up, man? How you doing? Happy Wednesday. I think this game will game of the year. It's going to be up between this and uh, God of War Ragnarok. We'll see how Ragnarok is when it releases in just uh, a week. Comes out in a week. Shit, man. Even with as good as God of War is probably going to be, I still think Elden Ring is going to take it overall, but... We'll see how it goes. Ah, oh, shoot. I did that. Weird. Eh, we still got the roll. That's fine. All right, this is the one, guys. so terribly. not poisoned it's a putrid one so i don't think uh, the putrid ones are very weak to poison at all they can still be poisoned but they have an insane resistance to it okay that's finally done jesus dude that's the most effort i've ever had to put into a tree spirit since my first playthrough good at ragnarok and song on a ps5 as we speak nice screamer just did the same thing as well is there anything cool in the pre-order bonuses for the game? Ninety eight gigs for the game? God damn. My roll timing is a little off with those attacks today, too. Just got the standard edition, but you get like a tunic or something. Hmm. Hmm. 
rune arc i'll do a rune arc after this fight i don't want to waste a rune arc on this fight i wasn't feeling very confident in that fight with that guy so i didn't waste any rune arcs with that either apparently i have a little bit of a skill issue right now so i'm gonna save the rune arcs nice steve what's going on man But yeah, Roland, I hope the new job is treating you very well, man. You said you're not really uh, used to, like, the scheduling, but I hope it's treating you well overall, dude. That's cool. Yeah, that, that's the thing, Wintervale. I'm very much so used to the single katana idea, not to mention it's a different moveset, so I'm just kind of... I'm adjusting. Definitely an adjustment. It might be worth putting them both on my right hand and just using single katana to apply different effects, too. That might be the better play. What's up, mean Durfee? No such thing as late, just like McDanian said. Thanks for joining us, dude. Yeah, my dodge timing is off. I saw that coming in. Why thank you for the $10 super chat. I can't express how proud I am of you and how hard you've worked to get where you are. Never give up. Never stop. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. See guys, this is what I'm saying. Remember the other day when I said wife is my number one supporter? Remember when I said it was her that got me into streaming? She was like the final nudge to get me into it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was her. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Fucking do it, bitch. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the duality of life. Hey guys, um, the giant space bug just ate me. It just ate me. You want that I should give him the clamps? Oh, I got clamped. We got the big clamps. Use a rune arc? Nah, I'm gonna do it after the fight. See, I had a feeling I was gonna die in this fight. That's why I didn't waste a rune arc. there asshole you want to chill there bud bud oh all right
was hoping to get a uh, frostbite or a poison off there. That's why I didn't dodge, but it didn't work out. Timing off there too. Shoot! Come here. No. Nah. What the heck? Okay, we pulled it off. So it looks like we have enough mana to pull off uh, three or four ice lightning swords in a single in a single fight. So we have that going on for us. Winter Veil, thank you for five gifted members to the community. Thank you very much for the generosity, dude. Thank you so much. I love seeing the cult emotes. You guys know the drill. You see someone gift memberships, you give them the cult emotes for the new non-cult members. Thank you very much, Winter Veil. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, so our runes actually have nothing going on. Uh, not sure how many runes I actually lost, but they are gone forever. Let's pop that now. We got this done. I need to go, I need to go here. May, have a good night. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Where did he flee, my sweetings? 60k runes? No, there's no way there's 60k runes there. Is there really? I thought they were gone. I died twice, didn't I? Yeah, we have to go back to that room anyway, so we'll see. I thought I died twice. Or am I just that down on myself right now? Yeah, Randy Newman is the one thing this game has been missing. Yeah. <laughs> Have a great night, May. Oh yeah, I guess I guess I did lose him. I thought I died twice here. Huh. Hey Panda Mike, how you doing, man? Guys, thank you for 650 likes on the stream already today. We're actually on par to be able to hit like well over 800 today, guys. Holy heck. If you haven't hit the like button yet, make sure you do so. God damn, man. God damn. Already level 80 as well. Jesus. We zooming. You've got a friend in me. All right, let's go. Astral is one of your favorite fights. I love fighting it. And I, I honestly, I just like looking at it. It's one of the more creative things in the game. And it's lore being, you know, from outer space and everything is pretty dope. They're pretty cool. They're pretty cool, man. All right. Did <laughs> someone say lore? Going to fight Electo? Yeah. We'll fight Electo while we're here. Actually, you know what might be better here is to equip the other sword for this. 
so we can apply poison. Oh, no. Okay. What? <laughs> Come on, man. I, I don't know what happened there. I'm going to be honest with you, bud. I don't know what happened. What a hitbox on that, man. My God. What a hitbox. Oh, we go again. Hit round two. I hate that I missed that. <gasps> My horse. My horse. Okay, we're back in business. Okay, that fire really lingers. Okay, I tried to use the horse hitbox to kind of get the iframes there, but that didn't work out too well. <laughs> All right, I think the poison just reapplied. It certainly did. Thing gives 120,020 runes. That's a very odd number. How is the, how is there an additional 20 there? 120,020? Maybe like a sheep or something died at the same moment or something? I don't know what happened. That was awkward. Yeah, that was a pretty good finish. Hitting it with the double slash right in the right in the face. Pretty good. Pretty good. Hey, what are you doing up here? Dobberts. All right, let's grab all this. We'll go talk to Ronnie. Uh, we should probably do a poll as well to see which ending we should go for. I'll probably set that up when this cutscene is happening up here, guys. We're going to decide what ending we want to go for. It's going to be between uh, the Dung Eater ending and the Golden Order ending. I'll let you guys decide which ending we go for in this playthrough. It's going to be one of those two.
Okay, the poll is live. Leave your votes. Whichever one gets the more votes is the one that will go for for the ending on this playthrough, guys. Also, I'm seeing, guys, there's actually... This is going to be great. I didn't realize they added this already. There's a Q&A thing here. We talked about earlier how we're going to do a Q&A to celebrate 25,000 subscribers. There's actually a Q&A enter thing here. So we'll utilize that. That's very cool. Didn't realize that was a thing already. So Sweet. It was perhaps I am. I go now. I bid thee. And one so what a good feature. What a good feature. That's perfect. All right, let's get out of here. It's an ugly Joker. You think that uh, Joker intends to be pretty? Do you think a clown wants to be pretty? You think that's their intention? All right. Hey, like the great, uh, the Dark Moon Greatsword is awesome, man. Very fun weapon. What's up, Melinda? Isn't that why you wear makeup? Yeah, Mel, yeah. Oh, the Dung Eater ending is definitely winning with 65% right now. What's up, Purex? Greetings from Austria. Hello there. Really enjoy your streams. You have a very soothing voice, by the way. Thanks, man. I'm glad you enjoy my streams. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thank you for tuning in today. Preston, how you doing? Good evening from Istanbul. Thanks for joining us from Istanbul. Hello there. What's the next boss? We're going for Electo right now. Godslayer Greatsword, a good weapon. Playing Faith Strength playing. Yes, uh, Godslayer Greatsword is also uh, uh, one of my top weapons in the entire game. It's very good. Time that really well. Come on, then. Oh, okay, that was almost bad because I dodged early. It worked out.
I always parry when she gets close, just in case she does that attack right there. It's very easy to parry, and almost all of her other attacks, if she does get close, are pretty easy to dodge otherwise, so it just kind of helps. Just kind of go for the parry. Nope. Not that time. You see what I mean? Almost every time. She'll give you uh, one of four different attacks at that moment, and two of them are completely parryable for free. You see? Like, it's just... Basically, it's a 50% chance you're going to land an easy parry. Goodbye. I'm doing damage with the critical hits, Melinda. What do you mean? The parries I was hitting over 600 damage with. Yeah, okay. What we're going to do now is I'm going to put the katanas on the main hand. And I'll switch between them. based on what we need. Okay, that is all finished. I don't need to do the tower thing there, so that's good. We're good to go up here now. It's time for business up here. Let's do it. Should you damage and pull out the sword as well? No, that's not how it is for all weapons. That's only certain weapons and certain enemies. Some enemies will, you will you'll have like a, like a small stab and then the pullout does more damage. And then others, you just get the one stab and the pullout does nothing. Or like with a hammer, you'll get like a small hit to the stomach and then like a larger hit afterward. Every weapon and every enemy reacts a little bit differently. Not all critical hits are the same. As well as some enemies are more, uh, more resistant to critical hits, whereas others are not. It's all different. It's not universal. It's plus six right now, Dubtack. I have to get a plus seven stone still. Made to the fire giant, but I'm scared to fight him. The best way to fight fire giant in phase one is go after his, uh, his obvious foot. And then when you do get through that and you get to phase two, just keep riding your horse behind him. Every time he moves, just stay behind his other foot and just keep tickling his toes. It's the easiest way. Hands down, bar none, the fastest way, or not the fastest, but the safest way to take him out is just focus on his feet in both phases. I'm gonna go to the store and get some drinkies and coffee for the morning. Do you or chat need anything while I'm out? Uh... I don't know. I think I'm good. Oh, am I? I are you here as a customer? Let me grab these. But yes, every uh, every weapon and then every enemy reacts differently to critical attacks. give your foot fetish a chance against the fire giant <laughs> i guess <laughs> okay 60 dexterity i guess we're going to build up a little bit of endurance and then you know what i might do as well is I actually might build up a little bit of mine so i can use ice lightning sword a little more often yeah no problem melinda All right, let's go up here. 
and go beat up a godskin apostle and then from there we'll uh do more things in the area no magic tickling a fire giant's toes yes exactly what's the best farming method still likely in uh, the blood palace area though i will say there really is no need to farm runes in this game there really isn't i mean i'm just getting here to altus plateau I, mean, I just got here and i'm already level 80 and that's just very casually going through, clearing out dungeons, defeating bosses along the way. Like, very, very casual. I can't kill Radagon any tips. The best way to fight Radagon, man, is to just prepare yourself for all those delayed attacks. And then try to do jump attack, like jump heavy specifically, because he's actually pretty, pretty low poise. dude <laughs> i tried to roll out of there but man it was just not gonna work out that sucks too because that was a good fight the lore of this village is frightening it is it is terrifying this is where uh the, the ladies are dancing in celebration of a ceremony of the godskin apostle that is here healing the skin off of people isn't that something Why didn't it just... It did the dodge like it was going to throw some fire and then it didn't throw fire. I'm sad. Shoot. What am I doing? That went better. That went a little better. Skin him. Yeah, let me take his god skin peeler and then just skin him in return. Beautiful. All right, I actually need to go here. Here and here so let's work on that next yes yes perfect let's ride here and then go to the number two
Yeah, it's time to take out Eleonora in preparation for fighting Moog later on. The one in Kayla Tower is a bitch to fight? Yeah, we killed that one earlier. Somehow I did it first try. I love how I, I got through that one, but I had a, I died to that, that one just now. That's weird. The one in Kayla Tower is the strongest one in the entire game. Ben and Theo, how many hours do you have in Elden Ring in total? That's a lot, but you rock. Hey, thank you. I'm right around 800 hours now. Kind of, kind of ridiculous. Hope you're doing well, Ben and Theo. No. I hate you. Yeah, I couldn't move. I couldn't dodge or anything. Once that fire hits you, man, you just basically got to take all five hits. <laughs> that sucks. Nothing to do there. All right, let's try that again. Round two. Round two. Yeah, Memoro, the, the endings for this game are very underwhelming. If you want a good ending uh, in general, like the more elaborate ones are... Hold on. Right, we landed the poison. That's good news. Hold on. Hold on. Hold up. More elaborate ones are Ronnie's ending, Age of Stars. How the hell do you avoid that? My God. Age of Stars. And then you have... Uh... Oh my God. <laughs> Flame of the Frenzy. I guess those are the most elaborate too, huh? Hold in order as well, I guess. But even that one's not much different, realistically. Lady, you're being very annoying. She would not stop the dragon communion incantations. She would not stop. I think that's the most incantations I've ever seen her use in a single fight before. That was nonstop madness right there. Did I grab the sacred tear? Yes. Okay, we're good. That was a little annoying, but we got through it. All right, let's move on. Yeah, just two out of the six are really worth anything. And even then they're not great. What's the name of this church? It's the Second Church of Marika. Right there. Basically, directly west of the uh, Hero's Grave. Right there. Eleonora specifically drops the Purifying Crystal Tear, which allows you to block Moog's ritual when he's fighting you at the, the Blood Palace. When he goes from Phase 1 to Phase 2 and he does the whole Nihil thing, 
It actually resists the damage from that. He still heals, but it resists the damage. Yura's quest line is directly tied to Moog. What's up, Sinful? How many times have I completed Elden Ring? 21. What talisman am I using? We got Green Turtle, Radagon Scar Seal, and Winged Sword Insignia. Hold on, didn't I get the Sword Seal? What am I doing? My god. It's a whole bunch of free levels I wasn't using. Yeah, I mean, Ash, I get it, but I just, I wish that the endings for this game were better. Like, you go through all this adventuring, all this exploring, and then it's like, okay, well, um, bye. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thanks for coming out. And that's it. Oh, shoot, you're right. Didn't realize that I didn't throw that on. My bad. My bad. Yep. The Dragon Scale Blade is super sick, man. Oh my god, I dominated that thing. Dragon Scale Blade is awesome. Hell yeah. Welcome back, Bob. The big thing with the Dragon Scale bl Blade is you want to make sure that you actually land the stomp at the beginning because the stomp will stagger them just enough to land the rest of the combo. So you got to get really close and then use it. And then it just kind of falls hand in hand from there. Like this. So that can actually do some pretty insane damage. All right, let's go back over here. So that way we can activate the sacred tears and then go fight Lance Ax. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to poison Lance Axe, and then after we land the poison, we'll use the uh, Dragon Scale Blade. The Ash adds a flat 160 damage buff as well, which is insane. Yeah, it adds a lot of damage, man. And it lasts 45 seconds now instead of just 20. They gave it a very good buff. How do you get it? You fight the Dragonkin Soldier in the Lake of Rots.
he just hit me midair. That shit's illegal, man. We got the frost on him. Back to the dragon's dragon. Uh, I'm sorry, serpent bone rather. Poison kills it off. Damn it! Oh, dude, the poison's actually gonna kill it too. <laughs> Son of a bitch, dude. I mistimed that roll. Ah. Oh. So yeah, poison, and then we frostbite, and then poison again. That's the way. Very good. What's up, Southern? Hey guys, we're almost at 750 likes. Almost at 750 likes. If you haven't hit the like button yet, make sure you do so. We're right there. Just 18 away. It would mean a lot to me if you could hit that like button, guys. This could be bad. Okay. <laughs> There's our frost bites. He's got to be close to the poison again. There it is. Oh, you just teleported. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Uh, is the poison ticking away still, do you think? It is. The poison's still going. Look at that. Look at that, guys. GG. The poison was just doing free damage while we weren't even close to it there. <laughs> McDanian, thank you for the $5 super chat. Incoming community gifts. Oh boy, please be sure that you opted to receive a membership. McDanian, thank you for the $5 super chat. And then the 50 gifted members. Holy heck.
McDanian with 50 gifted members and the $5 super chat. I still say I don't deserve you. Thank you so much, dude, for the huge, huge generosity. Thank you a ton, man. My God. My God. Thank you, man. Alan with two months. Welcome back. Says, let's go, man. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. How do I opt in to receive a membership? You click on the membership thing in the, uh, you click the dollar sign below the chat box. When you opt in to receive a gifted membership, it doesn't cost any money. All you have to do is just hit the dollar sign, click on memberships, and then look around in there. You should see an option to receive them. Um, if you don't see it, it likely means it's not available in your region. You're welcome to hide all the new members. Thank you so much, man. My gosh. My gosh. All right, let's go. So I think the Serpent Bone Blade has a superior move set. But the Dragon Scale Blade's Ash of War is undeniably very good. Undeniably very good now. Damn it. Will you stop dodging me? Oh, you little. Oh my god, this guy is a legend. Get him on. I could not hit that guy for the life of me. What's going on, man? You'll be re-upping your membership soon, Josh. Hey, I'm just happy to have you here, Joe Blow. Whether you do it or not, you know, it's great of you, but as long as you're happy tuning into the stream, that's always gonna be number one thing. Don't make yourself feel obligated to become a member. It's something that, don't get me wrong, I do appreciate it, but the number one thing is just having you here, man. Always. Today I learned you can get critical hits after this transformation. That actually staggers them. I did not know that. Okay, so if you didn't know that, like me, now you know. You can actually land critical hits right after the transformation. I had no idea. Holy hell. Holy hell. Nobody special. Thank you for two months of membership. Best streamer in the world. Oh, man. I'm glad you enjoyed my stream so much. Thank you so much, dude. Truly appreciate it. I had no idea you can get a critical hit after that. That's really good, actually. Florian with four months of membership, four months already. Thank you for being here. Hey, thank you for being here. Thank you for four months, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome, Nibbler. Lascar, they give the two pounds. Hi, can you tell me a fun build to make on board? A fun build. Do a Vare cosplay. A Vare cosplay to go do Vare's quest and then defeat the three uh, the three surgeons at the Blood Palace to get their mask. You also get Vare's bouquet from defeating him. And then run around and just make everything bleed a lot. Oh 
my god. That did not go how I imagined it in my mind. That did not go well. Hey, we're good. We're fine. We're all right. We're vibing. Yo, what's up, Josh? How have you been? At this point, can you play this game blind? I think you've done almost every build now. Yeah, this is my 22nd playthrough, and I can very much so do a lot of this blindfolded, I'm sure. <laughs> Hope you've been well, man. It's good to see you. Yeah, I've played a few different games recently, and I'll be playing... I'm looking forward to God of War Ragnarok in just a week as well. But yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a good time playing Elden Ring a lot, for sure. Hardest boss in Elden Ring? Melania. Hey, where are you going? I'm not done with you. Come here. Come on. Why are you, why are you backing off? They need to fix this, uh, this guy's leash. The whole intent is to bring him over here, and then, like, half the time he just doesn't... Yeah, like, look at this. There you go. Ow. Clown Samurai. Nice. Nice. Hellenic, good to see you. Hope you're well too, man. Happy Wednesday. Good to see you as well, Hellenic. You just say, get over here? Get over here. You can't come into the light? Feels bad. Feels bad. Just don't want to get guillotines. There we go. I'm good, dude. Nice to see you prosper. Love to see it. You put in the work, too. Hey, thanks, man. We just hit 25,000 subscribers on the channel a couple days ago. I am extremely proud of it. Been seven months now since the move from Twitch. I love streaming on Twitch as well, but man, it's nice to just kind of have the progress that we do here. Okay, you wait until I swing. This guy's a right jerk right now. Dominated. What's up, Kyriakos? Melania is only hard if you choose so. Um. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. What's up, RBM? Hey, I'm Ed. No, there's been no details on anything DLC related yet, Kyriakos.
Yeah, Josh, I'll be fighting Melania this playthrough as well. Clown or I could pass as Ronald McDonald's evil twin brother. Are you say are you are you, are you insinuating that Ronald McDonald is not already the evil twin brother? Is that what you're telling me? You don't think Ronald McDonald is already evil? We're the good twin brother, man. Of the green hair? Thanks, coffee. Thanks, dude. Holy Archon, what's going on? Dalal, good to see you back as well. Hello. You like Josh Fluke's videos too? Nice, Holy Archon. You know, I'm not going to lie. When I first met Josh, it was over when I was streaming on Twitch. He he came over to my channel. Uh, was I playing Warzone or Super People at that time, man? If you're still here. I had no idea he made videos uh, for the longest time. Which is really cool. Like the fact that he just kind of didn't say anything about it for the longest time. And then just kind of came up via... I don't remember how. That's something I always, I can always appreciate too. You can tell he wasn't like hanging out just to kind of talk about himself, which is always great. Oh, it was Battlefield 5 and then jumped to Dead Island 2. Oh yes, yes, yes. Um, Dying Light, yes. And then we played Super People from there. Going all right, Weapon Crazy. How are you, man? I've got the wrong weapon out right now. Okay, GG. Only game you can parry on is Bloodborne. Dude, Bloodborne's parrying system is really fun, though. Really, really fun. Yeah, the only Crystallian that you can parry is the, uh, the spear one. I don't think you can parry the one with the disc. And then, obviously, the mage one you can't parry at all because it just casts spells. But the spear one, yeah, you can absolutely parry it. Almost all, I think all of his attacks completely are parryable, actually. His entire moveset. All right, we got that. Now, now, there is actually a really special fight over here that was added not too long ago. Let's go do that real quick. It's bad manners of self-promo. Don't want to be that guy. I'm no better than anyone. Just a fan like everyone else here. Hell yeah, dude. And see that? That's, that's how it should be. I do the same exact thing, too. Love to see it, man. But obviously, if you guys haven't subbed to Josh, make sure you go do so. He's a fellow Josh, man. He's been on YouTube for a while now. How long have you been doing stuff on YouTube, bro? I know it's been some time. Obviously much longer than I have, but yeah. Make sure you guys go sub to him. 
Favorite build on Bloodborne is the Blood Tinge build. Yeah, Blood Tinge is good stuff. I generally just go for straight, like, strength build, though, myself. I'm just very basic in Bloodborne. Though the last build I did was uh, mostly around parrying. Mostly around the visceral attacks. Yo, Josh, thank you for the $10 super chat, man. Thanks for what you do. Appreciate the nonstop content. Hell yeah, man. I mean, as long as there's video games to play, then I'll be here, you know? And let me tell you what, dude. It is going to get insanely busy here in the near future. We've got God of War Ragnarok in a week. Later on this month, we have the Pokemon games that are coming out, the brand new generation of them, as well as uh, Evil West. In December, we have Callisto Protocol, as well as High on Life. And then January, there's going to be Forspoken and the Dead Space remake. And then February is even more insane. We have Dead Island 2. And then we have Hogwarts Legacy, Wild Hearts, Atomic Hearts, and Sons of the Forest, a new survival game. And then March, we have the Resident Evil 4 remake as well as Wo Long Fallen Dynasty. And I plan on covering all of these games. <laughs> ah, man. Guess you're not going to play Crisis Course uh, Final Fantasy VII? No. No, I'm going to not... I'm not going to be doing that one myself. Where is this invasion? Where's this invasion, guys? It's in one of these buildings. Lies, when does Lie of P come out? No idea. Thanks again, Josh, for the 10 spot. Oh, I have to get a festering bloody finger to do this? Didn't realize I need a festering finger to do this invasion. Let me think. Can't we get one down here? All right, dude. We can buy one down here. Started with WoW videos and then somehow moved into corporate stuff. Probably four years full time now. Very cool. Very cool. I didn't even know that you did WoW stuff to start off with. I've always known you for the corporate stuff. Because obviously that's when we met. Very cool. Midnight Suns. When does Midnight Suns come out? Also, that's a tactical uh, RPG, right? Like a turn-based RPG? Welcome. I'm not really into superhero stuff, but I might check it. I might check it out. Where am I going? Well, you please, I'm out. There we go. You think Dagger Millennia was hard? Try soloing a Pony Rainbow Unicorn Island too. Oh shit, bro. Oh shit. Never thought about it like that before. <laughs> Kaladin, I love it. Yes, uh, like McDanian said, I do have a tier list of all the bosses in Elden Ring on my channel. If you want to see what my favorite and least favorite boss fights are in the game, that's the video to go to check out. For sure. I played Metal Gear Solid. I've played the very first one, and I've played the third one. I'm not really uh, overall a big fan of the franchise, though. What's my favorite Tomb Raider game? I don't know. I played the first few. I did enjoy them back then. But honestly, my favorite part of Tomb Raider in general was like the uh, the training area. Just trying to figure out how to, you know, 
acrobat my way through it was always the fun part of the game for me. I've never really been large on those games, though. Do you invade or pure PvE? So I do pure PvE. Uh, I have done invasions in general, but I'm not a big fan of it. When I, when I PvP, I like to do things in, like, Battle Royales and Escape from Tarkov type gameplay. I like the much more hardcore element that this game just doesn't have. Um, also, when I PvP, I do prefer to have... Uh, I guess I just prefer that format. Just, to, you know, like... Having a little bit more tactical stuff to it. Y'all heard of Atomic Heart? Yeah, yeah. Just mentioned uh, that it got a re release date today. It's finally got a release date. Ow. Yeah, if I'm going to PvP, um, my general format is going to be Escape from Tarkov or PUBG or Warzone or Super People. I, that's just my preferred way of things. Even Apex Legends, I'll do. Like if I'm if I'm craving like a multiplayer experience, player versus player, that's what I go for. I'm dead. Didn't realize there was a cliff right there. Time for go. Time for me to go for the day. I'll see you all next time. Sounds good, McDanian. Have a good night, man. Thank you again for the huge generosity. The 50 gifted members? That's nuts, man. Again, at that. Thank you, dude. Okay. I'm not worried about the runes. It's less than 8,000. Let's go grab the map over here now. I also, once in a great while, I'll load up League of Legends. I go through like phases with League of Legends where I won't play it for a couple years and then I'll play it a lot for like a month. I'll play like four or five matches a day for a month straight and then drop it again. I enjoy League of Legends, but I'm not good at it. Admittedly, yeah, I am very, very bad at it. But it is fun all the same. But I do excel at first-person shooters quite a bit. Like, when it comes to video game skill, my first-person shooters, I, I can I can get into the top tier stuff of. Like, for example, Super People, I was in the top 100 players for a couple seasons straight. And then uh, PUBG, I was able to hit the top rankings of that as well. Used to play a little bit of Battlefield semi-competitively, stuff like that. I do excel at that. What level am I right now? We are 88. Always thought the main appeal to PvP in this game was your ability to sort of troll players, like hide and trap them with enemies or whatever. Maybe that was just on older Dark Souls. No, that's definitely a thing here too. It definitely is. I just don't find a whole lot of fun in that myself. But also, there's uh, a lot of people just meta game. They'll just figure out what is the most overpowered thing at the time and then just focus on using nothing but that. And it kind of makes the PvP stale. dodge timing right now. I will parry you. I will. I absolutely will parry you. It's going to be great.
Hold ya. Oh my damages. Marga, is this modded? No, Margit's always here. This is the second coming of Margit before you fight Morgoths. Your main character has 600 hours alone? Holy hell, man. Holy heck. Hey, dudes, listen. We are just nine likes away from 800 on the stream today, which is wild. That's a lot of, that's a lot of like clickers. Thank you guys for hitting the like button. I appreciate it. You guys ready for gargoyle? My god, man. My god. Ouch. Ow. I'm gonna die. <laughs> the lightning bolt hit him, though. How was even that? Hey, how did my attacks miss there? Hmm? Any knowers? Any knowers? Right, I'm all out of healing juice here, so... Fighting a gargoyle on these stairs is very awkward. I kind of wish they made it so the gargoyle would appear on the flatland down there by the uh, by the golden tree. I just feel like it would have made so much more sense than fighting it on this stairway. It's very janky. Not impossible, obviously, but janky all the same. Like, instead of landing on the stairwell here, imagine if it landed on the flat ground by the tree. I think it would just make a much better fight. You know what I mean? Because then you have this, like, little open arena. Welcome back, May. Hey, Thomas. How's it going, man? How's it going? Guys, this poll is going to be open until the end of the stream. It currently has 538 votes. We're voting on which ending you want to see me do for this playthrough. Dung Eater is currently winning at 56% versus Golden Order at 44%. I chose these two endings because of the two endings that I have done the least out of all my playthroughs. So whichever one you guys vote for is what's going to happen. So make sure you leave your vote on it. Find it at the top of the chat. Walk away. Go away.
Okay, bud, you're looking a little poisoned. timing. Oh, well. GG. GG. Personally, I think Dung Eater ending is the shit. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> I too think the Dung Eater ending is the shit. Right, hold on just a moment, guys. Sorry, guys, I was talking to wife. I was talking to wife. What's my graphic settings? I have everything maxed out. Everything turned all the way up that you can turn up. All right, that's taken care of. We need to go down here. As I do know, there is another bell bearing thing down there that we can get. I think it's the bell bearing too, which will allow us to level up our serpent bone blade, which is very important right now, considering... Uh, we are in lane Dell. I should be able to hit a little bit harder than I am. Not that I'm not, not, not that I'm doing small damage by any means, but it could be better. So let's go down there and grab that. We'll finish up that dungeon and then carry on from there. What katana am I using tonight? Uh, Chris, I've still got the serpent bone katana. And then uh, earlier we picked up the dragon scale blade as well. The dragon scale blade has the ice lightning ash of war and it's actually really good. It's really good. Yeah, was Grindy the regular smithing too? Hey, Chad. What's up, Marlin? You have a wife? I do. Been married for nine years, together for 13. <laughs> Those iframes there. Eh, let me in. I don't want to die. Oh, there's a there's a smithing stone up there. I missed it. I missed it. It's all right. How old am I? Thirty four. Serpent blade is normal stones. It is. Yeah. The dragon scale blade is somber. This one is regular smithing. I was caught by surprise on that one too, man. You're not alone. I don't want to be down here. There's a big bad abductor. 
This is not going to go well. Oh, God. Damn it! <laughs> okay, well. I just became lunch. I just became lunch. No, it's not rude, brothers. You're good, man. I don't... I, I'm not afraid to talk about myself at all. Like if you guys, you know... If you guys really want to get to know me, we're going to be hosting a live Q&A session um, while playing Soulstone Survivors in a few days. Keep your eye on the community tab as well as join up on the Discord so you can get alerts on all my streams and stuff so that way you don't miss it. And then we'll be... Uh, anything you guys want to ask... At that time, we'll be focusing on it specifically. It'll be a good time. As well as checking out a new game. If you like Vampire Survivors, you'll like Soulstone Survivors as well. It's very fun. Am I going to duel with the two katanas? Is pairing too important? Um... It's not so much about the parrying, Corrin, as much as it is just focusing on one element at a time. Uh, it's faster to apply them individually than it is to try to build them up at the same time simultaneously. Second, you are the worst. Oh, there we go. That's good. These guys, if you didn't know, um... The abductors are extremely weak to lightning. That's why I was able to stagger it so quickly. They're very, very weak to lightning. If you have anything lightning on you at all, you can almost instantly stagger them. Can you put bleed damage on a katana? Um, yes. Yeah, like Uchi katana and a bunch of the other katanas have bleed built into them naturally. The Uchi katana the rivers of blood and what is it called moon veil they all have bleed build it built into them i can't remember if the other one does as well i don't think the meteoric does oh no meteoric ore has bleed on it as well so it looks like most katanas in the game, even the Nagakiba, they all have blood loss built into them. And as long as they're not a unique weapon, like the Uchi katanas and the Nagakiba and stuff like that, you can actually put more bleed on them too, if you'd like. That's a possibility for you too. Moonveil does not. Moonveil absolutely does. Moonveil absolutely has bleed. Yeah. Since day one, it's always had bleed. 100%. Damn it. Darkest Night. Thank you for the $10 super chat, dude. Should we call her Jwife? Wife? Or W-O-J? Wife of Juice? Or just awesome? Just Wife seems lacking for her role in the creation of the Not Cults. I don't know. I mean, I always ask her if she wants people to refer to her, like, directly by name. She's like, no, just, have, just call me Wife. And so everyone just calls her Wife. <laughs> It's how it's been for years. Darkest, thank you for the 10 spot, dude. I appreciate it. No, you're good, Kaladan. Yeah, it's something that a lot of people don't even realize. 
The biggest reason why people don't realize it is because oftentimes when you're moon using the moon veil against basic enemies specifically, they'll often die before the bleed actually procs from it. It's uh it's either 45 or 50. I want to say 50. 50 build up. Yeah, it's 50. So it is it is a little bit low. So most basic enemies will die before it ever actually procs. If you use it against a boss though, you'll see the bleed proc for sure. Thank you again, Darkest, for the 10 spot. I appreciate it, dude. hoping to get a parry off for the finish but that's cool that's cool too wish that loincloth was an armor piece i wish it was too i've seen the movie batman samurai i have not uh, i've heard i've heard people mention the the joker samurai yesterday and the day before though yeah But yeah, I've not seen that myself. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Uh, so Wintervale, it's kind of weird how it works. If you're... When it comes to Moonvale, any, anytime you hit anything with the blade, like your basic attacks, it will build up the bleed. When you use the Ash of War, it'll actually build up bleed as well, but only if the blade makes contact. The actual projectile that it sends out from the blade does not apply the bleed, obviously. But if you do hit them directly with the blade in the meantime, it will apply the bleed as well. You just got to do it at very close range. And if you're trying to build up the bleed from the blade, your best bet is just do basic attacks anyway because the Ash of War is a little bit slow on that regard. Alright, we're gonna go do a couple of quick boss fights. Just because, you know, they're in the vicinity. I'd like to do them. I would like to do them. So yeah, in order to get the bleed build up from the Ash of War on Moonvale, you have to basically do it right in their face. You got to do a point blank range. Oh yeah, the Serpent Bone is great, Nolan. I'm a really big fan of it. I've been loving it. Guys, thank you for 850 likes on the stream today. Massive, massive amount of likes on today's stream. Whether you're watching live or the video later, thanks for joining me. Thanks for being here. And welcome to all the new subscribers. If you enjoy single player video games, then uh, you're in the right place. Thanks for joining me. A lot of really big games to look forward to over the next four-ish months, man. It's going to be great. Let's bring this up 
Runark. Uh, Runarks will activate your great runes. In this case, for example, I'm using the great rune from um, from Godric at his Divine Tower. I went there and activated it. And basically what it does, it gives you five additional levels in all of your stats, which total comes to about 40 levels. Or not about, but exactly 40 levels. So it gives you 40 additional levels worth of stats, which is nuts. Oh, damn it. I usually don't use great runes in the rune arcs to uh, get the additional stuff, but I'm doing it on this playthrough just because I usually don't. Just kind of changing it up, you know? I haven't seen the trailer of uh, Blight at all, Kaladan. The new Souls like coming up could be interesting. <laughs> yeah, Redneck. I love the moveset on the Serpent Bone. I think the Serpent Bone has the best moveset of the Katanas in the entire game. It's so good. I don't know if any of the other Katanas have the same moveset or not. I shouldn't say it, like, stands alone, but it certainly seems to. Out of the Katanas I've used so far, definitely stands to be unique. Though Rivers of Blood might have the same moveset as well, because their Ashes of War are basically the same thing. This just doesn't apply bleed. It applies poison instead. Our great rune's a permanent buff as long as you don't die. If you die, you lose it and you have to reactivate it with another rune arc. Can you find Serpent Bone? You find it um, from the Recusant Manor. Or, I'm sorry, the Recusant Volcano Manor quests. You get it after turning in the second one. Shouldn't have rolled underneath it. That was a mistake. Ha <laughs> ha. 
greedy. What? I don't think that attack should have hit me. Oh, well. Oof. how much attack power the ice lightning sword ash adds to this now you definitely see a significant markup in the damage very good very good poisoned a rock yeah we poisoned a rock man we did have a good night Kaladan. i'll see you later dude may thank you for the gifted member to chat i appreciate it I appreciate the generosity. Thank you. Thank you very much. Franklin, have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow as well. Ant Lion from Hell. Pretty much. Mate, thank you for the gifted membership. That's very kind. Those cult emotes are flying. Love to see it. Oh, yeah, Sark does it. <laughs> Doing well, player Taz. How are you? I think I'll play Sekiro. I have played it before. I have no plans on playing it again. It's a good game. I just don't think it's good enough to replay it. Besides Moonvale and Rose of Blood, what's your favorite ideal katana? The two I have right now. Serpent Bone and Dragon Scale. His custom hell. Preston, thank you for the gifted member as well. That one went out to Sark. Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. Very kind. Thank you so much. I appreciate the generosity a lot. Thank you. Got a little shaky at the end when I missed that parry, but we're good. We got him. Super glad they buffed the ice lightning duration. So, do, so am I. Very happy about it. Very pleased. Uh, let's put a little bit into mind so I can use my ashes a little bit more. We'll get it to like 15, and then the rest of my stats will go into strength just to kind of slowly up my damage from there. May and Preston, thank you both very much. Is there a better katana? Um, I mean, generally speaking, things like Moonvale and Rivers of Blood are probably a little bit better to use for most of the game, but the two I'm, I have right now are the ones I'll be using for the rest of the game. Avoiding any bleed-based katanas this playthrough. 
Um, yeah, this is good. This is good. We actually did a lot today, guys. We cleared out most of Kaywood. We cleared out all the underground areas. At least the ones that we intend on doing anyway. And then we did almost all of Alta's Plateau. Uh, tomorrow, when I come back, we're going to do Mount Gelmir in Volcano Manor, as well as Dell and the Subterranean Shunning Grounds, and maybe even the Mountaintops. I'd imagine we'll make it to the Mountaintops as well tomorrow. I imagine we will. Very good. Very good. But guys, thank you for hanging out today. Hope you enjoyed the stream. It was a pleasure to have you here. I'll be live again tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, okay? 4 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. Thank you guys for all, you know, joining me today for the stream. Thank you for leaving all the likes on the stream. Thank you for joining our Discord channel. And of course, of course, thank you for uh, subscribing. Again, like truly, we hit 25,000 subscribers, which is nuts. That's very cool to me. That's very cool to me. And if you haven't joined up on the Discord, make sure you do. There's a Discord link in the chat. You can see it several times right there. If you don't see it, type exclamation mark Discord in chat. You'll get a link directly to it. It's a great place to hang out with everyone from our community whenever we're not live. It would be great to have you guys in there. Whether you watch this live or the video later, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you dudes. All of you, you're great. You're great. And I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, be excellent to each other. Good night, dudes. Also, by the way, it looks like we're doing the Dung Eater ending. The Dung Eater won 55% versus Golden Orders 45%. That's fine. Discord link, exclamation mark Discord, Joe. Or if you look up in chat, you'll see several Discord links above. Anyways, guys, have a good night. I'll see you later.